People who don't like me don't stop my praise. The enemy is doing the absolute best he can to discourage you and to whip you to make you feel like you're not going to make it to your next. Do I have a witness in here? Because you don't need to be around somebody that's intimidated about your future. You don't need to be sitting by somebody that's jealous of what God's getting ready to do. If you are discouraged that that yoke tonight has been broken, I come tonight with a prophetic declaration that there is nothing that shall be able to stop you from getting to the place that God has ordained for you to be. Whatever is standing before you, it has no power. Tell them you. All right, family, good night. Facebook, YouTube, everybody, welcome, good night, and thank you for tuning in tonight for another unstoppable live program. Family, I'm going to start off the show you by saying this. Them not going to like me. They not going to like me, you know. Enough done not like me already. But if me not do it, who I going to do it? If I don't give these persons a platform to share their experiences, their stories, their situations. Who are going to do it? Who is going to give persons that deserves a platform to share and let their voices be heard the platform? Me are going to do it. So that's why enough of them not like me and even more of them not going to like me. And the one here tonight I go cut like a knife. Believe me. So, yeah. When you ready for that one here tonight, family? The one here tonight, I go cut like a dull knife. When you hear what I go on here, so. So, you uh, better prepare and buckle up for that one here. See it? <coughs> All me not ready for it. I tell you the truth. Not even me not ready for that one here. But, it have to be done anyway. I want to share out the program right now. Share it out, make it reach far and wide. Invite some more persons on to come listen to tonight's program all right if you're there on facebook share it to every single group that you can possibly share it to right now mr shana lee don't share it already thank you so much shana lee over there on facebook share it to every group that you're in right now share it from your profile share it from your page share it to a whatsapp contact youtube crew and you can do the same thing share it out and invite some persons on tonight to check out what go on over yasuka believe me now one yeah Believe me when me tell you said I want ya Simone say me son low. I hope me son all right now. Believe me when me tell you said I want ya tonight. I go shake up some nerves. Me I go stop the long talking and me I go get into it right now. After me pay the credit to the sponsor. Now of course you know the sponsor for tonight's program is none other than McLaren's Age Reversing Wellness Center, where they offer in office and re remote health analysis to find the root of your illness, even if you don't have any symptoms. All right, and they get answers the same day. Them give you the answer them the exact same day. All right, you don't have to worry about them giving you no guesswork, no if buts or maybe's. Just pure data is what they provide all right and as me say already them get to the root of the issue all right i remember them tell you symptoms are not diseases all right now here if you want to schedule your appointment with mclaren's wellness it's 914 
278-9394 or you can also visit the website at www.mclarencewellness.com for further information all right the next sponsor for tonight's program is none other than slam iptv where you can get channels from all around the world no matter where you are you can get service from slam all right the number to reach out to slam is 858 858- Four three three seven. All right, that's six four seven eight five eight four three three seven. Or you can visit them social media pages at slam underscore iptv. No family, me get that out of the way. Me a sweat, cause tonight one, as me say, me no ready feet. I mean nothing couldn't ready feet neither. But it has to be done. All right, if you share the program yet. If you're not share the program yet, share it right now. Me say, Romina, big up yourself. Romina, share it over there on Facebook. Listen, me, man, share out the show. Share, 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 share right now so we can get started with that one. Let me tell you that one here tonight. I go have you on edge. Share out the program right now. Let me see some more people share over there on Facebook. So far, me see Shana Lee share. And me see Romina share. Come on, man. Let's let's get the shares up over there on Facebook. Because the one here tonight needs to be shared out as much as possible. All right? And YouTube crew, click the thumbs up button, please. And thank you. I would appreciate it. Now, I'm going to start off this one. Before me even invite the guest, I'm going to start off the one here. I'm going to hear something. I'm going to start off the one here. I make on the ear something. Cause that one here tonight have me away. I just wanna listen before me even invite the caller to the program right now. I wanna listen. Alright, me make sure I set the volume up and everything so I can hear loud and clear. On the ready? You see us, nobody. Make sure I tell you that. Yeah, make sure I tell you that now. Me just just sleep with gun and I need me pillow. Frank, I can't tell you. Me not me not know me afraid of. Make sure I tell you that. Yeah, I cool me. I keep myself. I said me come in girl and me try to keep myself cool myself. Make sure I tell you that. Yeah. All right. Let's run it again. Me tell you something, man. You see, you see in front of all of you can't see me. I pull on me, pull on badness. Yeah, make sure I tell you that. I pull on me, pull on badness. I'm not afraid of nobody. Oh, you see, sir? Nobody. Make sure I tell you that. Yeah? Make sure I tell you that now. I just sleep with gun and I need my pillow. Frank, I can't tell you. I'm not afraid of nobody. I'm afraid of nobody. Make sure I tell you that. Yeah? I cool me. I keep myself. I said, I come in and I try to keep myself cool myself. Make sure I tell you that. Yeah? I don't think that one they say nothing yet. Uh, you love, you love, you love police. So you see, if I don't say you can't say much, you police and tell us a measy so. You love police, you know. Yeah, you can tell us a measy so. Yeah, me not afraid of nobody. Yeah, make sure I tell you that. Yeah. I want life me have to live, I'm going to live it. Make sure I tell you that. Yeah. Oh, yeah, say much as you can tell me, boy, yeah, move up. Let me tell you something, man. Nobody comes out of the house and let me say go. Because anybody, anybody you feel like I fool you, and any man you feel like you have a bricks and I fool you, remember say, I'm going to come here, I'm going to kill both you and them. You remember that? So anybody you have a fool you, you have a next thing coming. Anyway, you go back, I must panic plane, I go back to Jamaica. Uh, you have a next thing coming. Make sure I tell you that. Uh, so you try to learn, you start to stick that and put that in your head back. I'm going to run back that one day again, one more time. I tell you no, they're not going to like me. Oh yeah, say much as you can tell me, boy, yeah, move up. Let me tell you something, man. Nobody comes out of the house and let me say go. Because anybody, anybody you feel like I fool you, and any man you feel like you have a bricks and I fool you, remember say, I'm going to come here, I'm kill both you and them. You remember that? So anybody you have a fool you, you have a next thing coming. Anyway, you go back, I must panic plane, I go back to Jamaica. Uh, you have a next thing coming. Make sure I tell you that. Uh, so you try to learn. You start... All right. No. This I last on me I go run now. I for not think the first tree was rough. You know if you hear that one yeah? If you not think the first tree was rough. You know if you hear the last one. Share out the program Facebook. YouTube share out the program. Share. Let me see some shares so me can run the last one. The first tree not said nothing yet compared to the last one. The first three voice notes when me play, no say nothing yet compared to the last one. 
up, up, thanks for the share over the on Facebook. Me see that. Share out the program. Share out the program. Share out the program. So some more people can hear where I go on. Over your say night, night yeah. Me tell you no, not even me not ready for that one here tonight. Not even me not ready for that one here tonight. YouTube, click the thumbs up button because that is how YouTube are going to share it out. Recommend it to other persons for click on. Alright? So click the thumbs up button over there on YouTube. Facebook, share it to every single group on the inner so that me can run the last voice note. Because that one here, tonight, not even me not ready for it. Alright? So share out the program right now if you're not share it yet. This are the last one. Let's go. Me did know a long time. Me did hear a long time. You want people to tell me, say, say you have man out there, say I don't, I don't know. Then I'm going to kill them out there. Mm. And that's the blue. Then I'm going to kill them out there. Me did know a long time. But I, I tell you, are your body going to carry them out in a board box? So that I'm going to pick up all your body, are your body going to pick up in a board box? Me mama tell you that. You know I hear it again? I don't ever hear it. I don't ever hear it clearly. No, I hear it again. Let's hear it again. Me did know a long time. Me did hear a long time. You want people to me tell me. Say, say you have man out there. Say, I don't, I don't know. Then I'm going to kill them out there. Mm. And that's the blue. Then I'm going to kill them out there. Me did know a long time. But I, I tell you, are your body going to carry them in a board box? Say that. I'm going to come pick up all your body. Are your body going to come pick up in a board box? Me mama tell you that. Family, when you ready for that one here tonight, the caller is on the line, you know. And she's ready to get into the details as to why she was receiving all these threats. She's ready to share her experience as to why all these threats were being sent. How it all started from the very beginning, straight up to reaching to this all right so like me say we're gonna get into it but on and share share the program more want to start share out share out share out share out share out and get it and out you there. love you love you love police so you see if i don't see a castle i'm sure the police are telling me so i tell you something man. you see you see in front of all of your council i put on my put on badness yeah make sure you tell you that i put on my put on badness you don't feel nobody what you see us nobody make sure i tell you that yeah Make sure I tell you that now. Me just sleep with gun on a night me pillar. Frank, I can't tell you. Me not afraid. Me not know who me afraid of. Make sure I tell you that. Yeah. I cool me. I keep myself. I said me come on girl. Me I try to keep myself cool myself. Make sure I tell you that. Yeah. So, can you love police, you know? Yeah. You can't tell me some easy so. Yeah. Me not afraid of nobody. Yeah. Make sure I tell you that. Yeah. I want life. Me have to live. I'm gonna live it. Make sure I tell you that. Yeah. I stick that and put that in your head back. Me did know a long time. Me did hear a long time. You want people to tell me, say, say you have man out there, say I don't, I don't know. Then I'm going to kill them out there. Mm. And that's the blue. Then I'm going to kill them out there. Me did know a long time. But I, I tell you, are your body going to carry them in a board box? Say that, I'm going to come pick up all your body. Are your body going to come pick up in a board box? Me mama tell you that. All right. We are going to introduce the guests, you know. But remember the rules of the platform. You are never ever allowed to be disrespectful. You are never allowed to call my guests a dunce, a fool, a idiot, a yamed, a jackass, or anything like that. Or else you are going to be blocked. Now, I do know a lot of you are going to say there is two sides to every story. And of course, that is the truth. Well, some of you know said three. But, we are going to hear what tonight's guest has to say and listen with an open mind to everything that she has to share. Right? And of course, if the brother wants to share for side whenever he hear this, because of course it's going to get to him, then he is welcomed. Right? But as me say, them not going to like me. No, not like me already. Carla, good night. What are Good night. Yes, good night. Unstoppable. Boy. You have me, you have me shake up tonight, cause me no know how you deal with it. Oh, the blood of Jesus helped me deal with this, and mm. family members and prayer, mm. prayer and faith, cause I had grown up in a church home, mm -hmm. 
Christian home where my granddad always teach me to have faith and continue read my Bible and pray. And whenever I'm praying, I'm to go down on my knees. Mm. And that is why I'm living in today. That is why I'm raising my hand today to tell God thanks for revealing things to me to run out of this abusive life. So this is, this is not likes and this is not for uh, money making thing. Mm -hmm. Why I contacted you. I contacted you because I watched and I saw everything that is going on over the world, even here in the UK, because I'm telling, I'm encouraging young people, old people like women and men, domestic violence is not a good thing. Mm -hmm. I could be in my grave tonight, but thank God I'm walking on top of my grave because I'm a very smart person and I believe in prayer and I believe in God. Awesome. And that's why. All right. More you, you tell us from the from the very beginning, Wagwan, how this all started. All right. Share with us right now. But I'm going to listen to you. I won't interrupt you. I will only ask you a question if I need to ask you a question or if one of the listeners have a question in the comments. 30 minutes within the show, I'm going mm -hmm. to give you a water break so I can pay the credit to the sponsors no again. And then I'll come right back to you. All right. So go right ahead. Start no from the very problem. beginning. Okay. All right. I met this. I met this man on my job back in, back in Jamaica. And while on my job, he introduced himself. But the way how him chat bad, I did not know he traveled. And he asked me one day to assist him, accompany him, go to Kingston. And he, I said to my cousin, I said, come to KFC and stand up and look. Who is gonna take a picture and look who is gonna um pick me up and so i'm gonna get him come out the car and introduce to you so i'm going into kingston but you don't know me already anytime i'm going with somebody we send me text and vice note and and whatsapp and text the car everything and send a picture him so me do that to my friend so my friends all right anyway i reach in when I, upon reaching the highway he turned off the Spanish town. So I said, but you say Kingston. And he said, no, I'm going out by the birth certificate company. I said, okay. So while we while he parked, he on the phone, he go, he, he, he went in there, but he don't know how to talk to the people, he don't know how to approach them. So he said, Oh, um, he applied for his son, mother, death certificate, and I hit him come for and he said how much money can give him. Sister laughing, do it for all our bunch, you know, do it to what it be a bad old him because I said, Calm down. I said, Calm down. I used to be an agent here, so let me go and ask for someone to assist you. Anyway, I took the receipt and I went in and explained, and they went upstairs and they said, The birth, the death certificate is ready. Is the person who applied for it has to come tomorrow morning for it or can come before the, the, the company is closed by 2 30. And him take the receipt and him go back, peer bad word, peer bad word. I said, Lord, God, I wish. What is this? So that is the time now I know he traveled. So when he would drive down, oh, Lord, Bobby, you know, in this ghetto, I said, Jesus, I call my uncle. I said, uncle, listen, if me dead, oh, Lord, Bobby, I'm there. I send him a picture. I said, get to me there. And I follow one friend, come here. And he said, why are you doing your idiot? And I start texting on my police friend. I said, oh, Lord, Bobby, anyway. Come in when him when this person come out, the person come out, and me see some guys come out, they me see one little black boy come out and him say, Where are you now? And my son this you know, the boy look like he not really grow up with no manners. So anyway, him give them some money and him say, Me coming back for the death sort to get tomorrow, come on if you can me I leave Thursday. So on the way back home to Mandeville, I said, You travel? Him say yes, in the year over two weeks now, and him I try to get his son up. But um, what's to have an income for look one girl for married to for settle down with and have a life? And so him um see me and he like me. Uh, so I am say, really? What if see me and lost like me like that? Anyway, it um the, the the flight did cancel, so he have another him extending him flight. So we, we go out, have dinner, and we bring him to some nice place and 
So anyway, everything was all well. When him come back up, we talk seven, seven days a week, 24 sevens. Uh, nice on the phone now, you know, with me. So me and my cousin and my son was living. And my cousin was there and he said, I'm going to look like him, like him. He said, like, I have to see first. Anyway, I had an uncle and he took sick and he passed away. And I called him. I said, listen, I was just calling to tell you that my uncle passed. And he said, really? And he said, really? And you know, me just like go call and tell her that I like go change your name. So my cousin say, me say, change name? Me say, no, my granddad also tell me, don't, don't change that name that he gave me. I say, okay. And he said, so my cousin kicked me and say, and I say, I married you, man. Say, I'm going to marry you. He said, well, really? And my son look over to me and say, man. Anyway, he called me after the funeral, a month after the funeral. And say, I'm coming down and he want to get married to me. Um, because me clean and me can and cook and me decent and me have me have um me, me smart and so, so me say really yeah, look on that anyway him same one come down for uh, for married me for my birthday yeah, and whatsoever and he love me and he he not even bother look for nobody else because him see his wife so okay me never really at it but my, me and my girlfriend was laughing and talking about this thing. I said, God, I pray about it. Anyway, he came down. <laughs> and he, he came down and he came with two suitcases and he came with a, 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 a nice jacket suit, velvet. And he says, 200 odd pounds in pay for it. And he bring things, but he didn't bring nothing for me. For, for wedding like. How I say wait? But he bring, he bring going out clothes and shoes. And he bring shoes to my son. Then. And he said, wait. And he said, we have to go to town and things. So I gladly now say yes. We are got married. And I call my family them overseas and tell them everybody happy. I call all my entertainment friends them and everybody happy. Anyway, my uncle fly in and surprise me with a um David's David bridal um bag. And he said, Come, this is your gift. And come to bury him, brother. And he said, This is a gift. I won't make it at the wedding, but I will. I will put 80%. And he meet the man. And he's a nice man. And him quiet. And I say, quiet? Do we see? Anyway, everything. My brother flying. My cousin them flying. Everybody. Everybody get down and say, all right, the wedding is going to be after your birthday. It can't be on your birthday because your birthday party you have to keep. And it's going to be huge. So you're going to tired. I say, okay, a week after them because him say, I have to go back. Up and do, um, planning this wedding and everything, my little money that I had, saving the credit union, I have to dry it out and everything. Family jump around. When me ask the man with free money, because him come to keep a million dollar wedding with 400 pounds to serve him four weeks in Jamaica and keep a wedding. So me start asking where my thing, where my money for buy clothes, shoes and whatever. Um, uh, now, if you think about that, um, you might go borrow some money from Frank. <laughs> so the person, you mean calling the, in the vice note. And him call Frank and him borrow money. And him give him 50000 And But him never know that everything for me set already. Anyway, because you know, when, you, when you're going to marry, you say, okay, I'm going to drop certain things out of your life. And you're going to you have your kids, them growing up. You're going to, yes, this is it. You understand? Because I'm getting into age. I want my kids to live the life like my grandparents. I want to live a good life. Eh. Anyway, he came back to England. And it was eight months after. Every day, family, family come back. Everybody on the phone at his workplace. Oh, congratulations with, with nice, ni last nice young. He married to a nice lady. And this lady will take care of you. And I say, yeah, man, I'm a wife this but, but me miss my wife. I'm mean, I mean, married to my wife. It's still so far from me for so long. So my uncle was on the phone and I connect the call. And I said, Well, go on. And so, man, now my uncle said, But me hear you say you're not married. My niece is still far from you. Why you don't apply for her? You're there so long. And the wedding is so long. Why you don't apply? He said, my waiting boy come up. That is the son that he's filing for. But he was declined four times by the home office. 
Anyway, so his co-worker now and his lawyer said to him, if he go down to Jamaica and get married to that person that he, he's friend with, it will be a big support for him to get his son here. The home office will look and say, okay, you have your wife can look after your son because they're not going to provide someone to look after your child here while he don't born here. Anyway, so um, um, said to my uncle when the boy come up, in March, February, he said to my uncle, he's going by the solicitor. So my uncle said, when you reach the solicitor, call me and let me speak to the solicitor so we get more understanding from him. When, when he reached the solicitor, he called my uncle, but he didn't know that I'm on the three-way. So my uncle speak to the solicitor. The solicitor said to my uncle, this man don't have the first dollar to put in my application because the application is for £2,389 and the solicitor fee is £1,000. My uncle says, okay, take it from my card. That's my niece and she done a lot for the family and she's, she's a good person and I won't, this is a gift from me to her. Okay, the lawyer take it and say, whoa, it went through. And I heard the lawyer said to him, you have to love this family and you have to love this man because this, this never happened in my office. And this is a history. Anyway, my uncle forwarded me the receipt in my, my WhatsApp, my, my um, email and everything go. Then I got my time to go to the embassy in Kingston to do my biometrics. I did not know that the same day he chose for me to do the biometrics is the same day he's going to the, the court of appeal here in England for his son to get the visa because he, pre he present the marriage certificate. So he did not know that God answered prayer. God let the home office hold on to the son document at the court while I did my interview in Kingston and everything gone fine. So the judge hold on on the date and said, okay, on the 17th of July, come back. When he, get, he went back July, at that time, my visa had already, already approved, but he did not get the approved documents as yet. I wait, I wait, I wait, I confuse, I confuse. I call a friend up here. I did not call my family because I want to surprise them. And I pray, I pray, I pray. And my friend said, no, man, you're supposed to hear it because your wife is six weeks thick. I said, really? I said, anyway, I'm going down into prayer. And I went down into fasting and prayer. I did not go nowhere that weekend. I went down into fasting and prayer. And I said, God, show me. And my grandfather dreamed to me that Sunday night and said, you and your cousin go to fasting Tuesday. I said, but wait, my grandfather did not keep a fasting on, on, on Tuesday. They always keep it on Monday. And I get up that Monday morning and I had my devotion, three o'clock in the morning, and I rush in the bathroom and I be and I tell my son that his lunch money is there. And I text my cousin and I say, listen, anytime that man call you, tell him that I've gone to fasting in Maypen with my sister. And I text my uncle the same thing. Anyway, I called the bus man. I said, listen, wait for me in Mandeville. I'm going to Kingston. And he wait for me. And I walk to Mandeville in that 4 a.m. with two stone in my hand. I walk in the middle of the road. And when I see a car coming, I jump. Anyway, reach to Kingston 7.30 a.m. Because the bus leave out 5.30. I reach to Kingston 7.30 a.m. into New Kingston. I call my my, my DJ friends, and I say, listen, me over New Kingston, come still sit down, chill, me quit down and check us, me come and do some business, but this place not going to open until 2.30. When the place open 2.30, I step and I hand over my receipt, the security say, okay, you're next. When I went there, I, 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 that's my next, I'm the next one in line. When I went to the immigration, the immigration said, um, miss, did your husband use a solicitor to do your, your application? I said, yes. He said, didn't you receive an email or a call? I said, no. He said, you only have eight days leave in the country. I said, what? 
And he said, I said, she said, who sent me? I said, I use my instinct and come. And she said, okay, go over there and give your name and enjoy your stay in England. I said, thank you. And when I get my passport and I look on the visa, eight days leave. I said, Jesus, thank you, Lord. Thank you. And I rush in the bathroom and I take a picture of it and I send it to my uncle and I said, uncle, thank you so much. I said, God bless you. I say I get the visa, but I have eight days leave. And he said, what? And that man didn't come. I said, the visa is granted from July. And I supposed to leave before September 8th. And I came to the embassy on the 25th of August. I said, what? My God. I said, I have no time. What am I going to do? I have to get people to stay with my kids, our family. I have to saddle up everything now because this is migration. Anyway, my uncle called him. I said, don't call him. Don't call him. My uncle called him. I have me on the three ways. Quiet. My uncle said, where is, where is my niece? He said, she said, she going to fasting. My, my uncle said, eh? The fasting turned out good because my niece get the visa. My niece coming up tomorrow. What? How did it was it? Was it not there? I said, what do you mean? Forget you no, on the come. That time the man have the package up here already hide. I want my visa to expire because if I did not get that visa on that day and the eight day pass, I would have to pay 1500 pounds to get it stamped back. And it, I would have to wait six more weeks. So within that time, if I, if his son did get through before me to come here, he could stop me at the airport. He could stop me at Gatwick or Heathrow. You could write the home office and said, I'm no longer interested in the process i'm no longer with my wife so that is it but prior so when i when i came when i when i packed now to come here i, I only i only rushed to the station and i said so i need a police to take me to the airport and i tell him the special police and i grabbed one of my friends i said come we had a drink last night we're going to the airport to pick up someone and i bring my clothes everything in the police car and the police person car and when I went to the airport, I said, listen, I'll leave me, I'll leave today. And she said, what? And she started crying. I said, take care of my kids, them. The helper is there, take care of them, everything good. Prayer. And she hugged me up and said, all right, go, you can pray. Anyway, when I reached to England, when I reached to England, the clothes that I asked the man to send the money to buy, to shop to come up. The man said, I should wear all my old stuff come and when he, when when me come. I don't want a good close to wear to airport because when me come close the buy and whatever. Anyway, I did not know that. When I reached to England, the house that the man had had lived in, I did not know that the man had already go behind my back and trick my uncle on the phone, him and his co-worker, that um he has where he's living, he's living with his cousin and me can't stay there when me come. He has to rent a place. And he borrowed the money from my uncle. My uncle lent him behind my back and he rent a place. The change that leave the man by a bed without bedded and put there. But he did not know that I'm going to see the receipt when I come. Anyway, when I step up the step, 30 steps from, <laughs> he don't have a lift, 30 steps to my room. When I go up there, I saw one single bed. I saw a, cent, a glass tea, center table with a TV on it, a 42 inch. And I saw in the living room, there's no table, nothing. There's a stove with three red pots on it. And I saw three play three. I said, wait, three, three, three. Hold on. I look in a car and I see 10 cents berry bag and a suitcase, a clothes and a plastic pan with a lot of documents. Anyway, see, I hear some yoga steer and I'm going to work tomorrow. Anyway, I start take a picture and send it to my family. I say, anyway, I'm there. The next day he went to work. I was having my devotion. Cause he, went up, he went out 5 a.m. I have my devotion 6 a.m. But there's a spirit said to me, search. Search. Three times that spirit said to me. And I get up. And I start to search. I say, what is, what's this person telling me to search? When I search, I saw a debt program on top of the suitcase. So that's the son mother debt program over how much years from 2000 much. Anyway, I passed that. Yes, when I search, I saw a big envelope with, with my name on it and the man name. I said, wait, when I look, I saw it, 
I look all my documents from the Home Office and I saw the date which he collected the document from the 10th of July. I said, mighty God, when I look, I don't saw my children birth certificate in the package. So when I search, I saw the three birth certificate into another envelope way down in the bottom of the, of the plastic. Then I saw his son documents them, everything okay. And I start to read. Then I saw a letter said, okay, the son next court case will be September 17. When he came back, I did not say nothing, but I sent all of these evidence to my family. I said, this is what is going on. I did not know. He get it. So I have to go for the biometric tomorrow morning. Monday morning, he took me to the post office. I collect my biometric. And when I collect, he jumped on the train. He said, come with me. When we went, we went to see uh, the lawyer. When we went there, the lawyer took the marriage certificate from him and my passport and my biometric. He scanned it. And then he was on his computer. Did not know that he sent it to the home office and said, okay, the wife is here now. So the, court, the, the, the case is stronger so the son can get his visa. A week after, a week after, he was on the phone talking. Coming down to the 17th of September, he was on the phone talking to a girl. And I heard him call the girl name. So on some, some money, gram, um, JN money transfer receipt, I saw this girl name, which him sending money to. So I said, young this girl, he was, oh, him and this girl did a long time. And uh, this girl take care of his son or something. And in office send money. I said, okay. So I said, this is the house where you took me and my brother and my little son in Olaba. And you, you leave us in the ghetto, in the sun hat. And when you come back, you wipe your head and I ask you if you have ex down here, have you have woman down here. And you say, no, your family, which you'll never take me to your family and introduce me. Now my kids, now my brother there. And at the same time, you tell the person on the phone, say, don't worry, don't say nothing. When time your son come. As soon as your son come and in documents clear, you're going to send down me and a one-way ticket. Really? And then it start. Voila, that anyway, a, the letter that, said... That's that where you see? In a, the, 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 where you see that? In a letter? He, he, no, he was on the phone talking to the person. So I make it cool off until, he, until after I'm done and he come. And I saw, I saw the letter now say his son court case will be on the 17th of September. The decision will be made on the 17th of September from the home office. I said, wait, he might go to court for his son. Anyway, so I said, your son, I go come and you don't tell me. And you did not tell your son that if it wasn't my family, he wouldn't have a place to stay. When he come here, you would leave him into a bus, a bus shed or a shelter. Anyway, I did not know that. He had a ex in Olaba where he always stay when he go see him with And they with her same way. At the same time, this man married to me. This man already living with somebody me while him coming to Jamaica to me. Live with a girl up here. Live with a girl up here. But him could not. He could not use that address at the home office. He have to rent somewhere to get that tenancy to use at the home office for me, his wife. Because someone from the home office would have to inspect the property. Right? So he was living with a girl. Mean at the same time, him come married to me and come back in at the woman house up here. But when him come in, take off the ring and hide it. And tell me, say, ring last time workplace. And he was going to tell me. But he never remember for tell me, say, ring. But the ring is a little bit tight for you. So, oh, it will come off. Anyway. When him tell the girl that after everything, the man went to work and the lawyer, him didn't know that the lawyer emailed him, but the email come to me also and said, your son visa has been granted hmm. on the 17th of September. The son is, the, when, when him do you know, him plan, him plan for the son come on the 1st of December. I say, whoa, son come no bed, son I go come no bed. So I go come where am I going to stay? So, anyway, I come from work and I say, listen, I go, my son I come and I go put the TV that way in our room, in our room and I go buy a bed. Anyway, 
No, him never say my buy me. He say, so me say, where bed where I go sleep on? Him say, he may go spread the comfort of them on the floor for him and make him stay there until he can buy a bed. He say, but you live in England all long. I think you can get credit. Me say, either you can get credit or you can do a layer way. Anyway, your son went and had no manners to me. I go come in a, the property, my family money rent. Did you talk to him? No. Anyway, the man take up the TV and broke the TV and say, if he can go in his son's room, he now go stay in the room. I say, okay, no problem. Because I don't watch TV. TV is like an exhibition to me. I, I, I concentrate on my job and concentrate on studying more on Google. Anyway, me I study on Google how to find a place in my England without any any itch. The man go work and then come back. December first, the man son come. That Saturday morning, I was home, and the man walking with the son with a big ever suitcase. I say, wow. The man come and his son never say good morning, and him say, stay around here so. Okay, I'm going to get a bed. Get a bed the day before the, the boy come. And him says, stay around your side, yes, I feel. It now go too long. It may look long, but it now go too long. <laughs> I never know him and his son already chat on the train coming from the airport. So the next day now, he asked me to follow him. And his son go get <clears throat> some grocery. I said to him, him and his son for go on. But because this man can't read now, him a fi bring me. Because him can read well. Him a fi bring me. So when me go with him, him and his son a walk. Hold on. <coughs> <coughs> Lord of Jesus. Yeah, him and his son a walk ahead of me. And they talking. So I get a call from him friend at Olaba. The same man we him talk about. Because I'm best friend and partner in crime. So... He said, yeah, man, the boy come, but he no care no clothes. He go carry four shirts and, and four shirts in the winter, so I have to go buy clothes. The man run up the road and him buy clothes, him buy clothes, a Primark, buy clothes and shoes for his son and big jacket. I said, but I need a jacket. Can you buy me one until I get here? He said, no, no more money. I said, okay, no problem. I use my thin jacket because winter did tough up here. And I don't use it. So when I went to work, I asked my boss to give me money off my job and I get a jacket. When I came in, man start box me up. Say man buy a jacket, give me. And the man start going. And the man start going. The man say, you know, take nothing for me go back to Jamaica. I say, no problem. We say, I'd rather be in Jamaica than be here and get in Butter Bros. What the blood of Jesus against you. That was 2018, same way. Coming down to 2019. The man showed me one, one, one email on you and Yahoo. He said, see it? Landlord said we have to get a bigger place because a one bedroom flat this. And because my son joined, we have to find somewhere bigger. He said, I can find my, my, my side of rent. Where is yours? Um, and we get fame, you know, for worry. So we come out. And I went to some, he, he go with him because I don't know England. The man bring me all over. And the man said, bring your marriage certificate and bring your passport. And I buy my ticket. The man tell me, go every department, go add my name. You know what the man do? The man remove his name from the up at top and put feed me under for me and put for me at top. I said, wait, what is this? One thing he not do, he not care me, go the bank open no account with him. So... Okay, we went, to a, we went to a real estate and um, they said, come and view a place. So I went in the rain and view the place. I said, I'm going to stop right here. I like this place, a two bedroom. And it was for £1,150. Asked the man with fee money. Say, I get it. I said, okay. I talked to my boss and my boss lend me that money. I sent him because I was doing my job. It was a catering. I sent him to pick up the money from my boss, brother. When he went that Friday morning and picked up the money, the first thing the man do is send 200 pounds to get the girl a whole over out of it and bank 800 pounds in the account. So I said, where the money for the people? Him? So him never know me find the receipt. 
the, the, the MoneyGram receipt, the JN receipt. I said, wait. Oh, you know, so I did save back 200 pounds in case anything. I said, in case of what? We have food. We have everything. No, we, don't want the, we want the money to pay the people so we can't move. Anyway, we must have borrowed from him, Nigerian co-worker. I went and we deal with the, the contract, tenancy, and we are going to move. I said, where is your money to move? I'm at work and the man calling me. We just come to England. Pay money if we move. So when me call my boss secretary, me say, can you can you lend me fifty pounds until we can want to move? And him say, I will get you a driver to move because I have a moving a driver who move me. And the man take forty pounds to move us. Anyway, they make two trip. When me reach home the night, it was twelve a.m. Oh, well, I will pack out everything. Him choose the room with the key to give his son. The front room, you know, with the key, the room door, we can't close with the key for his son. Uh, our room do have a key. I say, wow, that's the back room. I say, wow. When me look, the man start lock up. Lock up, making son lock him room and something. Me have to leave my job for run up and down, run up and down for find school and put this boy. The man put TV on, next TV in the boy room. The boy just cock up and watch TV, eat in, lie down in, in left the plate upon the bed for days and, and in take off when he was asleep, put on the side table and me just take the picture of them. In not, when he use the bathroom, I may have to go clean it. So me hear a little boy on the phone and say, my father box that down when he ready, man. I'm have to do it, I'm have to do help our work, I'm have to clean the bathroom too. When me, when me go in there and come out, I say, wow, this is them I tell him family, them are all over. I never know see the girl, little boy, I talk to. The man, girl. I tell her everything. Anyway, when me come home at night, 12 o'clock, me, the man beat me. Box me. Fi cook. If me tell him, I'm tired, I'm a can cook as me come from miles away. And him come in for much o'clock before me. He can cook. He slump on phone. I chat with him, partner in crime and girl. And me come in, me have to cook with this boy and give him. Anyway, I never know this man have a plan. This man start to ask me for marriage certificate. Me hide it. Cause I don't know where I'm going to do it. So I hide it in my suitcase. And I never know this man is planning on my life. This man say I buy one ticket for me go down. Me and him go down, go look for kids them. And him know say me no one partner. So him say him rent the car and me fi spend the money. I say wow. I said that money could could take my kids here. That six thousand pound. Anyway, him say you don't have to take them now. When we got Jamaica, can come back six months after. Me say when me I go get that money. He partner finish. When me go get that money. I never know where the man do. You know what the man do? The man start when the man say say. I'm not, I'm not going to get the money from me. Because we are going to put in the pit in them paper. The man said, I'm not going to lie, you're going to sign the paper with me. Pete children, kind of want nobody pitting around his son. I said, wow. And he told my uncle that. And he, my uncle said, but I put all money in the house. Right? Anyway, come down to that. The man start hungry me away. The man start hungry me like dog. And me, me not tell no lie, I'm not perfect. It's when he lick me, but try to lick him back. But you, 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 me, small, and we owe him tick. Fee man, when he lick me, is like me dead already. I had a police lady on the phone at night, and I was talking to her. And the man ready, run out of the bathroom and shot me some box. And the lady said, Don't hang up the phone, don't hang up the phone. He can't tell me tomorrow, say, Are you? I have a problem. Because I don't know who my phone. And he come and he box you up. I chat to man and something. I said, wait. My family called me talking about some land business. And he run out the house. And he come and he double him fist and buy him for me. I said, if you thump me tonight, I call the police. And my family said, mm mm, mm mm. My God, you, you no need to stay there, sir. And when I went upstairs, the man grabbed me on my neck. And the man start box me. And I start kick him now, just for him lick me, go can hold me tight. And him say, any woman he want carry not that the horse he can carry. 
because him can not come and him can get me go back. Him can carry any woman. And when you look, I call my family on the line and I hear him. You know what the man start doing now? The man saying can't get to me. The man saying can't get me go down. The man saying can't get to me because I'm smart. The man start join with him co-worker, which is a Nigerian. And the man start bringing, me really see man bringing a girl on the water. And me, every night now, my me, me cousin with a boxer drop my woman, she drop my woman, she always come up and say good night. And when she come up, she has smell a funny, a funny spray. So I say, wait, is that your fashion enough for me? And, and in sure, in sure, my cousin want brood spray, say I this in spray. But when him use him, him ritual thing in the house, cause that him say, I get me out, him a mouse dead, or my mouse mad. So when him use it and he's strong, he use the brood spray for spray, for cover it down, and him son in the room. So him son in the front room, so he will watch when me I come, and tell him, say, me I come. So I step up a step now, in prepare. I never know that when time I leave my um, coconut water in the fridge, the man have been throwing ritual oil in the coconut water and seal it back. So I'm coming to take my iron tablet. Me already have digest them, something they don't know. So two days after me was sick and end up in the hospital with me. My blood pressure high, my blood sugar high, um, gone way down though, my, um, my pulse gone, the, my heart rate dropped. So the doctor them have ECG on me for the entire time on, me, on the machine. And I'm wondering why, why? So I never know nothing. So I, what I did, I went on Amazon and I bought a, a hidden camera and I bought a record. And, and I placed it right at the doorway under the mat. And I placed the camera. The camera looked like a nice little thing on your dresser. And I placed the camera because it's emotion. And when I go and work, I see everything. The phone that I bring from Jamaica, the man, take up the phone and put it in bag and bring it or destroy it and not to get contact with nobody. And kill him dead is not him. But I did not show him why. Anyway, when I found out, when I listen, every night now I come in and I listen the voice note, the, the, the voice recorder in the bathroom, I turn on the show and I've been, I say, Jesus Christ, the man going to kill me. So me take up my passport, me take up every document and put it in my work bag and care go hide it. One of my friend, co-worker, place. The man, the man cancel his ticket. Cancel his ticket and put through mine. So when I he go give me a phone to go give the person in Olaba, when me I leave out of the lane, that's where them, them for take me down. I said, mighty God. And I called my, my, I went to my GP, the man, I started to cry. I said, Doc, I can't take it anymore. This man start beat me last night. I said, marriage without baby is no marriage. And he might, he might go send me home and this is what I hear, Doc. And the doctor start to write up. And the doctor said, want to call the police? I said, no, no, don't call the police. My kids will be dead. Because they know where my kids did. Anyway, I say I have to go to Jamaica. Then we get the police involved. Anyway, the man and him son plan now to get me out terrible now. You know what I'm telling son? The man and his son do? In pay 114 pounds of the receipt in Senegal, a all over will give a girl and he send the number and they block the number and call the the social service up here for kids and tell them say how oh, me I beat the little boy and him come and abuse him verbally, physically. When I'm at work, I get a call. Him send the voice note, come. I'm gonna look for them and send them to you. And say, I must call this number, call the children service, call and say, um, they want to they want to me um rectify this, they want to make the boy have manners to me or something. So they want to come and meet me. Eh, I run to my boss. I said, boss, I'm not coming to work tomorrow. She said, go ahead, go ahead. When I went there, I saw an African lady come out. And I saw a white man and I saw a Chinese lady. They bring me into a classroom and they interview me. When I don't talk, when I don't talk, when I don't talk, and I tell them everything and I show them the evidence, I show them 50 pictures and I let them listen over 100 voice notes and I show them texts. And I show them what is going on in the house. I say, and the lady draw back and say, wow. Lady said, listen, 
go home and call the call the internet service and tell disconnect the football channel. Disconnect and don't come in and cook for this man. This man is gonna kill you. Don't come in hours a night after your hard food job and come in and cook for these people. This man is using you. And he's using using his son to get you. You say the next day, I plan with them to come to the house when he's off on a Thursday. And the Wednesday, I was at a store with my boxer cousin. And they called me and said, Oh, we, we not, we're going to cancel the, 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 the visit at the house tomorrow. I said, Why? I said, they said, you don't have to worry. We know where it's coming from. We send the child to, for them to inspect him and we investigate him. And he, he confessed and said, is what his father tutor him to say. Hmm. He have to say it. And the doc, the GP don't find no, no blood, nothing on him, no abuse. So you need to remove what after that house. If not, you're going to lose your life. I said, thank you, Jesus. I start ball out in the, in the store. I said, thank you, Lord, for the answer of prayer. You know who is a liar now? And the person said, your case is closed. I said, thank you. The man, you no know, get that. The man, because, you know why the man is doing this now? Because if I stop work, he can claim his wife benefit from the, from the, the government here, which is 500 pounds. So when he get it, he can send money to Jamaica to the girl them we have down there. And we have phone sex with up there. Come catch him a lot of time. And when we look, everything, we come in the night, good and calm and everything. So you know what I do? I start pack up me, me not eat nothing out of the fridge again. I start buying my food on the road and come in and I start pack up my things in another room neatly. I set the camera one Tuesday and I come home the night after me finish my two job. Buck up one black woman and run out of the house. Buck me up right at the step is like this one time. Say, she a come, she a come. I run out of the house because the man called me and work and said, what me them? He said, work. He said, what are you come? I said, I don't know. I said, boss, hey, listen, my co-worker is going to finish. Chat to me a Uber. When I reach up, I come off of the school and I walk on and the there's a there's a brick break at the steps. So by the time I go up the brick make nice and the sun tell me I come the girl run out. So I say, You really make your little son I carry this big woman there. You know, be real, what's it, what's it not? So I just take up the camera and go in the bathroom and put it in my phone, put the memory card in my phone and reveal. Jesus Christ, God Almighty, God Almighty, me it hurt me you know. Unstoppable. What I saw on that, no woman wouldn't really. Steal us and digest that when do it that woman upon my bed mm. and the woman get up. What that man do to that woman, he never had done it to me. And the woman get up and ask himself, Oh, come, you have oh, you say, Yeah, she know there on the picture there all over here. And that is just fear, man. And she go down on a one way ticket, or she don't know. She don't come back here. You know me do? I grab up me. My passport and I run to my lawyer. I say, hold this, listen this, watch this. And the lawyer say, you need to get out that house. I say, calm down. He's going down. I'm not going, but he's going. He don't know that I'm not going. So what I did, I called the travel agency in front of his solicitor and cancel the flight, and I lose six hundred and thirty pound off the flight, off the ticket. And I said, it's okay. And I said, please keep it confidential. Anyway, this man is going down on the 29th of January. So, Christmas now, I should go down the 22nd, but I stay. And I locked in my room on that day, and he thought I'm gone. Anyway, because I come out of his room, you know, and go into the living room, because I have a lot of stuff which I bought, I work and bought. Anyway, and I hear him on the phone, and I hear him on the phone, and he say, you come for Christmas dinner? Anyway, at Christmas morning, I get up like I'm going to work because I was working at a care home. I get up like I'm going to work, but I did not go to work. I took holiday and I bring a little bucket in my room. And in case I want to wee wee, in case I hear me say me in the house. So I come in the before the you know, I open the door and shut it back. Go downstairs and shut it and tip on me to and come up back and come in my room. I lock my room now. So him and his son, they cook Christmas dinner. 
me while me in a my room. I send my money girl Jamaica with the barrel them go share up for my family and kids. And me in a my room. Lie down on the bed when I tell me go on the carpet. Come in a one team here, so me in the room. Come on here. What is the plan? Anyway, he ma cook ham and him and his son and then dead and I'm a go on. And he say, hey, remember me tell her say she can't come back here. Anyway, anytime he land a Jamaican can come back here. Him and him partner and crime on phone and then talk, then talk. And he say, he call one girl name say, when Michelle I say, when he must say, um, like, he book up this girl from 2019 November on Facebook. So the girl have a daughter in St. Elizabeth when one uh, who can't win. So he said, yeah, man, Robert. and he starts send money, go get them. What are the camera make me know and the recorder and me were in the house when I know say no gone away. And he said, yeah, man, may I come down, send your size, come on, so may I come down. And when me look, the man planned for go Jamaica the 29th. It's when the man says, I'm really not going to Jamaica. The man confused. On 30th of December, I tell him my room and my feet, I pray because it was the 30th my bar burned down in Jamaica. So on that day, I keep praying. And him fly the door. He said, I want to have a talk with me, but he don't want to have it in the house. I said, why would you have a talk with me? Outside the road when time plays lock. But him never know that. I already get coaching not to go nowhere with him. Anyway, him dress up. He say, anywhere me you feel have talk, lock already. And it's his weather spoon. And them lock from five o'clock. Anyway, him go down the road. And me, when me up in my room, in the living room when me, when me move go, me can't see everything. So there's a football ground down in front of the house in that lane. But when you reach a football ground around the dark. So I never know him plan with the Nigerian friend now. See, when he carry me out, he put me on the left. And the Nigerian friend see, push the knife in on my side. And just scratch him, make it look like a robbery. So me that dead. So he would get the insurance when take out on me. Come as a legal and General and legal in um insurance document that come and I wonder why. But me name on it, but him don't spell me legal name right. <laughs> okay. Anyway, so how you know I did that, not go. How you know that was the plan? Because the argument was saying on the phone. Him and somebody on the phone attack. Hmm. You understand? So when him go down the road, he was on the phone for him come out, like him confused. Him I say, why this girl no one come out with me? And him go down the road. And him, when him go down the road now, me sit down on the settee back and the other window, watch for see if him go come back. Oh, half hour, me sit down there now. Me hear him on the phone because him talk loud. Me hear him on the phone and me come and me draw it. Me look like Kurt you now and me see him because of the team curtain. And me see him and me draw back because no light in my room and me draw back. I tip on my toe because I'm sunny in my room, so I can't make it work because the room was carpet. I tip on my toe and I lie down on the bed and cover up my head like me asleep. But, but my phone was recording on the floor, so I close the phone screen. I just touch the recording and close the phone screen and make me say, So when you come in my room here, tell me something. Why you never go to Jamaica? I said, come out of my room. Anybody take my, fa- my passport out of my bag, put it back because the police will be. Coming here to do search. That time, he no know some passport, no damn yard. Anyway, the man said, You're lucky. But him no know that me know him going down. So, when me look now, the man start pour the, 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 that picture of me saying, Come show you with the aisle. He start pouring in my drink. I mean, I drink and I know, say, and a new coconut water. The coconut water already pulled and the, the, the liquid show in there and seal back like it's brand new. So I drink it. I turn over the Sunday, the 26th. I couldn't move. I have to call my box of cousin and she come and say, Don't tell the man, say, me sick, me can't walk. She said, I lie. I say, Yes. She said, come and she drive and come and when she comes, she said, Jesus Christ. And she called the ambulance. So how the man in her room and know what go on and when the ambulance people come up. And when the ambulance people come up, 
him say, I walk on here. So, my cousin say, you don't know what I on? Is your wife and you don't know what's going on? And in case indeed, so the ambulance man queen to my cousin and one asking her what is going on. And my cousin say, are the butter bros when butter bros me cause the pain too. And when we reach at the hospital, the man, the ambulance man asks, why is he here? I say, I don't know. So they screen me around and the doctor come and ask me, did you know that all the pain that you're feeling and stuff is what your husband done to you? I say, yes. He said, she said, you want me to call the police? I said, no, my kid's going to die. I have to go home to clear them. Anyway, the man, I spent the night in the hospital and they flush me out. They give me a lot of um, things through IV. The picture I sent to you and they flush me out and the man take my picture. I did not know that when, when he might take, I hold up the phone and my picture might take. And the man take my picture. I'm co I can't confess, you know. The man take my picture and bring it to the bank, the money man, and say, wife sick. And him not have no money. Because me could not get benefit, not no peer, because me and his visa. My wife sick and him need some money to do whatever. And him get £2,000 that Monday. I see that paper too. Me have every, I take picture of everything. And the man I go down the Wednesday and the man start shop. The man buy all phone. Care for care this for this girl. And the man draw nine thousand pounds out of nationwide bank. And I say, my God, look. And when me look, before all these, even when me putting up the curtain that Sunday evening, man spit in my face and box me. I'm a spit back pan him. I'm box me and the box when give me. My family a, 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 a US. I call him instant. And I call this police lady and I let her know. And the man box me and saying, can carry all 50 women coming at the house because I, I, I him named the king. I'm go to king him no one day all about one day England and I in friend of him. I say, okay, the K will drop off at the king and left the ing one day. Because my prayer and my tears now go go so. And the man start, I'm licking back, but I can't fight him. Even the doctor asked me, you know, lick back this man. I said, I try, but I can't manage him. And um, you know me do? What is my what is my weapon? I f- when he was sleeping, you know, I full up a big jar of ice water and I duck him. I said, this is the spit you're spitting on my face in front of your son and box me up. This is it. And he called my uncle and told my uncle, oh, me dash water upon him, I can't hear go. My uncle said, eh? Really? But him not know that my uncle was on the line when he ma boxed me up. Because this man want me to come out of the place as long as I come out in with your right home office and tell him, say, no longer with me, me gone with man. And then my visa just cancel. It not take nothing to, for them to revoke it. So when the, all these investigations don't know, I am on the right side. And when me look, when this man got Jamaica, me get picture right away, the man engaged the girl, 24-year-old girl, I sent to the town, say, he divorced me. At the time, he's still married. So at the time, when him gone, I get help and I move out. By the government, I get help and I move out. You see, when me turn in the tenancy and him come and the agency tell him that I move out, he send messages, he send messages, he send messages, he send messages. Me have them. And me and my lawyer sit down. And she said, don't touch your phone. Let him send the voice note. And him say, oh, you know, my girl Jamaica just go ease my brain. No, he said, go Bahamas. Go ease him brain. And so, and him and his son and, and whatever, and he come back and he no similar to us and I best thing me do for move out. And he send back on vice note and say, him, him want to see me for sit on me, we could talk it over and whatsoever. He will give me my stay and he will rent one place put me. I never answer him. I have all those evidence. I never answer him. Then he start sending the threat them now. So I text him to say, I move out. He start sending the threat them and I get, I get scared now. I'm a lawyer, listen to it. We send it off to the home office. And him go down to him, file the divorce immediately. Him file the divorce. The day when the man filed the divorce, that's the day I was on my knee that Wednesday. The day when him filed the divorce, that is the Wednesday my visa had been granted by myself in my name. And my, my divorce had came through last year, August. 
And the man went to Jamaica and married this poor little 24 year old. The man is 49 year old. And the man tell the girl, say, I'm a 40 year old. And the man tell him that my cousin sit down in the wedding, you know. My cousin sit down in the wedding and listen everything, not even a stone. Never got to the wedding for the man. The man tell him in Olaba that his best friend is getting married and he's a, he is the best man. When when I contacted the 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 um planner for the wedding, the girl said the man say him divorce and home we stab him up and he must run out of the house him and his son and he divorced the same time and he need one nice Christian girl for marry to and he must go help this girl to come up. Me. I'm afraid to see blood much as to stab one, to stab somebody. The man look it. When I check out, the man don't have a doctor. Don't have a doctor. A do never been to a doctor here in England for three years. He never been to a dentist for three years. I am the one who came here and add him on the and register him on a, on a GP list. When me come here, how the man stay even co work? I say, you're moving from boy to gentleman. All him mouth smell different. Uh, when the man used to open him out and talk at the, at the, at the workplace, we have to tap a breath. I said, really? Man, I said, I want to sit down and talk to him. I said, the first day I come here, I start changing him. Hmm. The man can't read. When I time the man have me, I went to do an interview. And I don't know England. The man carry me, have me across the road like duck with duckling there. I said, listen, mm -mm. nobody make nobody laugh after me here. I say, although I've never been to a high school, but I'm very smart and I have sense. I said, give me the phone. And I take his phone and I tap in the address. I said, the bus stop where we're coming from, that's where we have to stay to wait on the bus. The man can't read or write. The man lying, 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 lying. I say, lie? I say, wicked. So I'm telling you, unstoppable. When a man say them a come from England and then nice and them a, and them a, them not sleep nowhere. When I contact the girl that he live with the four girls, said thank you for taking the, this abusive thief in lion man out of my life. I took up this man from 2013 for in one one room, and the man live on my place. I have the text them I'm gonna send you, and the man live on my place and he never contribute to nothing. But I shouldn't pick up this thing because when I was in Jamaica, my family fly down and we went to Portland and the man was upstairs. And me and my family downstairs and we was talking and me listening to the man on the phone and the man, when the man ended calling, he said, love you, love you. Me and my friend, them the one place and me stand up here so I'm looking over and the sea. And me say, me kick my family, me say, you hear me? say, yes, yes. When, I, when they were playing the domino in the night, I took the phone. I borrow him for him and say, I can't get to my son. And the last call, as a, as a London girl. So I screenshot the number and I add it to my WhatsApp and I saw a black girl with a little baby girl. So I, I said, wow. So when, I, when he gone back to England, I called the girl, a black man number call. I said, wait, I am this man's sister and I can't get him. Oh, he moved, you know, he moved from March 5th. And um, I, I, I saw him yesterday and you know, I was there yesterday. And same as how he was, she was talking on the phone with me. She said, hold on, he's calling. I said, hello. Don't bother answer, darling. It's okay. I am his wife. He said, wife? Wife? And the girl start cause. And the girl start cause. So I hang up. The girl start sending me some message and stuff. When I, when I send them to you, we'll see. And the date is there. I said, my God. When I contact my family, my family said, listen, you get the visa already? We are no idiot. You can work. You're a worker. And you have sense. And your family live in England. Try to find two of them. You will find the rest. And you have your boss. Where you and them, where them come and your bar come drink. Link them up. One cousin may find unstable. And I end up finding 800 of my family here. And about six people that I used to keep party for. I keep a birthday party and everybody came. And so, that's how I am here today. And I get down with my family and pray. And so my time and stop it when I dream, when I move, when I move, I used to dream see the man trying to come over me to have sex. And when I look, by the time 
if it if it call lie down for me, for me waist go down turn into black and yellow snake. And I jump out and I sleep and I start to the blood of Jesus, the blood of Jesus. And when I call my cousin, she live in Cyprus, I call her and say, help me pray. Because, and I call my cousin in Florida also and say, help me pray. Because I've seen this man. And they said, the ritual where him put on me, he now go clean until I go to Jamaica and get in the sea. I'm going to have to drink the sea water to get this out. Because him co-worker talk, same dear more place, I say, how he give him Nigerian co-worker 1,000 pounds for either mad me or make me dead. Because my body have to go back to Jamaica. Then he can collect the 30,000 pounds. You hear? Hmm. That is it. And when I sent this, this paper to my, my solicitor in Jamaica, he said, you know, see the man take out the insurance plan, you move out. Me said, me move out already, you know, know me live. And he find me, he find me workplace, because he buy out two co work at my workplace. He tell him, he tell him, say me there, and he start to carry the document, them come drop off there. And by the time he leave my workplace and go to the next job, boss called me and said, one African call, a question the, the secretary, if I'm still working there. And one of the co-workers said, you see, you see him color? Be careful. He said, they may laugh with you, they may they cry with you when you're in the pain. But behind your back, they laugh and say, you must dead, so be careful. And that's how, that's how, what helped me to leave that job. I had a massive panic attack on that job. And the same co-worker said, I should die. And this man called my, my, my niece in Jamaica and said, you know, say, your auntie get deep until I get deep. And when I reached Jamaica, I went to my solicitor office and a girl saw me and let him know that I'm in Jamaica. And he called my niece. I sit there with my niece. And he called my niece and said, the girl get deep in her. You know, you're about here. And the, my niece said, eh? Me have got call me, me nephew and ask me nephew, ask my cousin, um, if, if my, that's my son, I'm going to call my cousin and ask my cousin if his mother here. That time, the, the, me and my niece, I lick me together and say, what a man wicked. Hmm. And stop it, you say, me fly back in England, because when me I go down to Jamaica, there's only one immigration now, and one police officer now. And that's my mom. And she picked me up at the airport, and the immigration take me off the plane. And it's, that's how I come back. Nobody know when I'm going, I'm coming. And when I come to Jamaica, I have my bodyguard around me. And I don't go places and let nobody know I'm there. If I go there, I stay one minute, then you, and I'm gone. This man, when I came back to England, because I get, I get the hint that he's going to Jamaica to get my son at the workplace. And I call my sister and say, anybody come to the workplace and ask my son. Tell the security, tell them he's not working there. And I rushed to Jamaica and said, listen, I'm going to move you to a certain place. And you have to go. You're going to live with this person. The whole, I'm going to rent the next place. And that is how I move him. Well secure. No way in Jamaica is safe, but the blood of Jesus cover him. And this man come back from, from Jamaica after him, got engaged the little girl and, say, and said, what happened? How many are dead? He want back your money for the Nigerian co worker because I already did pay him £1,000 and nothing not happened. Who could it be but Jesus? Who could it be but Jesus? I remember one of the time the man hold me down in my neck and he thump out my face. Thump out my face. I send a picture of country and I stand up on my wardrobe and my work and buy for £400 because this man never have nothing. I mean, the man, when the man thump at my face and him second thump and me dive, the hand goes straight through the wall, drove the door. I said, Jesus Christ, be dead. I me run downstairs and the neighbor run out and say, you okay? And she bring me inside and she said, listen, I am not married, but you encourage me. You give me the encouragement not to marry. I'd rather stay single and grow my little son. And I stay down there until the man got in bed and the man the phone and laugh and chat with him partner in crime. And the next day I went to work, I got to my GP and I told my boss, I told everybody, but I did not want to get the police in. I called the police and I went to there and reported, but I could not let this man know that I reported because I would die. And he would send man from Olaba to kill my kids. 
You understand? Because I know. Because one day I was cooking in Jamaica and he's sending the same partner in crime for, for creep up in my house. And when I go and find it, turn on and by the time he turn, I see this man, I put his hand in my bag, in his bag. And I said, don't do that. Don't come to my house and don't let me know. How you come through the grill? He said, the grill open because my son around there clean the step. I said, but you should call and tell me you come. Suppose I'm naked in my house. So I, I never trust this man. But we did already get the visa. I'm going to waste my uncle money. And this is not for papers. I come here to live a life. I come here, but if I'm come, I should have known say something wrong because the man don't want to care. I'm put nothing on me or him name. Nothing off a giant. I said to him, come here, you join one partner. No, we, we put £25,000 towards one house and get out. Of, you can get a mortgage and we can co sign it because me, your wife. No, I don't want nothing. Anything I got, I'm here, my son. Anyway, I go him and his son. In carrying woman in her room, his son carrying girl in her room. Till one night, I smell ganja in the house. I said, Where ganja? Where ganja in your do? Oh, I find him on the train and I can go give me a co worker. That time, my son. I distribute ganja, but he must carry come overnight. He carry go to school where I go. The simple said to the man, you cannot let your son waste your money in Jamaica at school for three years and come in the land of opportunity and don't learn nothing. But your son should be graduating three times for a year, which it can be done. Oh, lefty boy, lefty boy. Mr. So you're going to make your son come in like you can not read father or son I same thing. When you make them a all about shame, say, in come and in, in, in a graduate and they in the house of parliament or they somewhere in a big, big place. Love him, love him. Well, unstoppable. I hear everything that is going on. Just like how I move out, four months after I came back from, in, from in, when he come back from in, in, in one month, um, vacation, him and his son. Him and his son clash. Be a gun jam bun. Police hold him. So his son must live with young. And him live on one next place and still I collect money for the same apartment that me rent. He still I collect money. So when me make the report, they do the investigation and stop it in October. So I collect two years worth of money from government. Two years worth of money for the same property when I move out of. That man is wicked, but the blood of Jesus against him. And I, I, I warned I'm crying out to the young girls and young people in Jamaica. Trust me, foreign is not a bed of rose. If a man say I'm going marry you and he's nice up to you, by your reach or you're dead, if you're not wise. I have to run for my life. I was on the heart machine three weeks straight every day, every day I come for work, I can't work. I can't work. The man said, I don't do no work. Can we get more money? And because he couldn't get the more money, he half do me something, or he half make me dead. This man is all about money. All about money. This man never give me a dollar for me to come to England. He lent me 250 pounds. And I go hear me door and knock the money. What money? What money? What money? What money? What money? What money? He said, hold on. I just get up and nothing brush my teeth and I go down and cope and dry it from the, from the, um, the machine and say, see your money there. My birthday, I bought him a, a, a blazer suit to come to my birthday party. And the man come 11 o'clock when the door lock. Because over here, certain time to close the door, you can't enter. And the man wear a, a Nigerian shirt. And that they have a symbol on it. I never know nothing until somebody called me next day and say, Where your husband wear that come there for? Him a Nigerian? I said, no, he's I said, and cover. He said, you know, so when the man, you see, man, giant ritual. I said, my God. So they watch him now and say, yes, he go to certain church, him and this same co worker on Wednesdays. And him have to take off their shoes at the doorway and put on a white gown and one long table in the middle of the church where they have to sit down and take their hand and take up pure nuts they have. Man. I mean, I wonder where the man eat so much nuts from. Unstoppable, you know, don't you so? Hmm. I notice that when the man have sex, the man go, as the man come to me, he, 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 I say, wait, what happened to you? Oh, anxious, me anxious. Unstoppable, when the man go to work, <sighs> oh, Jesus, you have to take a breath, take a deep breath to hear that one, yeah. Hmm. So when the man go to work, <laughs> I did fly the suitcase. 
Ka me wonder when there's something, I mean, wonder if he have bicycle. When he have a pump, me I say, what is for? He say, let me have a put over. He pin is enlarged, pin is on. Me say, what? Me say, where you have and where you are more? Awa? Your pan hub? Your pan star? Anyway, me say, nigga, show me girlfriend, girlfriend laugh. He say, this, I go mash him up. Something wrong with him. Me say, must he have sugar? I me talk to my girlfriend. My girlfriend say, sick, can't go doctor. The man no one got no doctor. Because the man know what doing. The man start by so me at me see some diamond blue pill. So me take the picture and I go on Google now. And me say, wait, it start with V. And me say, wait, the Viagra is a man at it. No one never drink monster drink, so. And me say, Jesus Christ. Unstoppable. Me have to laugh. <laughs> when me look, me see the man have BSX tie. The man and cream. In a suitcase and Viagra. This when him a go to Jamaica. The amount of Amazon and eBay and sit in a package come a yard one night time. All in co work I am in there with two. Because for your birthday, I buy one penis extension. I have the picture can send you because I send it to the woman office too. Because you have to send everything to them. And when I look, in, t- in making some color a package, um, the night me go and let me sleep. So when he come in, he said, boy, where is something there? So he said, see it there. He take up and he go in the bathroom, because the bathroom connects to the room so you can hear everything. And so I he, hear him pull it. So he, he take a picture, because he can hear when the phone camera go off and he send it. And he send an advice and say, thing come in or thing come. Unstoppable. So when he put in my work bag in the living room and come back in the room and lie down, I get up 5 o'clock in the morning. And go, and go iron my uniform. And me, I keep my devotion at the same time. What have I said? Look in her work bag. So I'm looking at her work bag. I want a red box to like perfume. What the light? So I look up in night. I see one sitting like dildo. So I grab out, you know, and take the picture. And poof, and take the picture with the name and the box, everything. This is your him by. So when I look, I go to work. I keep in my bag now and black sweat on me say. To my co-worker, you know, say by one o'clock, I'm going to get a call and a cousin. So my girlfriend, why would he call and cuss you? You know, cuss and beat up night for last night already. Me said, there is something going on. He's going to work. He's going to a party Saturday and co-worker party. But me here saying, there with the girl, so. He have, he, he got do one like him, I got work in the day, but I co-worker, I'm going to sleep with before the party. And that was a plan. Come here, everything. So me show my girlfriend, he said, Jesus Christ, it's our... So I go on Amazon now and uh, look up it. It's a penis extension. I say, my God. So I call one of my friends now. I say, you know about this? He say, yes, I'm the girl there. And I say, I see the girl love. Because I hear him talk about it. I say, Jesus Christ. How oh, this God me come in? I'm not used to them something. Yeah. Anyway, this is another matter. He start asking co worker them know how he can get so aisle for when he may go to Jamaica for rub on the new girl so that he can hold him. Yeah, so he get it. And he did go down and he did marry the girl, but poor girl now have no idea. No idea what is going on in England. He now have no idea. But I'm telling the girls in Jamaica, I have, I know what I've been through. I've been through it. And this is the first, and it's going to be the last. It pains my heart to see how I left out and leave my children and I could go back home dead. Right now, I'm not moving. I have to be doing, um, we call it now, something on my shoulder, physiotherapy on my shoulder. The man lick out my shoulder, same time he lick out my face, the picture I sent to you. The man lick out my right shoulder, can't grip nothing. I do chef work, and when I hold the pot in the kitchen, I have to call my other assistant. They come hold it with me. Many a times, I wake up my finger and I can't move. I have to, I have to have I work them and I pray, and olive oil, and I use them. And when I got the GP, the GP gives me an exercise arm um, up. How oh, I do my exercise them to do the therapy. My neck, if I sleep on a pillow tonight, tomorrow, I can't turn my neck. How this man do me? Money. 
Now I know I, I asked Money. this earlier, but just for the the viewers listening, when was the last time you saw or communicated with this person, or do you communicate with him? No, I cannot communicate with him, and I don't want to see him. The last time I saw this person, it was on the twenty ninth of January two thousand twenty, when he was going to Jamaica that morning when he left me and my box a cousin in the house because my cousin did have to stay with me and they just come out of the hospital and my cousin said to him that morning so you're leaving and you're not leaving money or food give give her and she he said him him said me must go find i have the recording me must go find man fe mind me and me must find man for rent place give me enough to come back cause him in the house that are the house of my rent you know borrow money and rent you know you know for come back come see me there because him got jamaica got breed a new girl and uh, married life without picking his no married life because what he has done he co-worker told him that he have to do me something to make me look like the 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 the, the weapon uh, him and his son are the victim before his son eating can can get the government house but it don't work like that it don't work like that. And if he have a child, he can get a house. It don't work like that. So I, I went to my GP and said, this is what went on. The GP said, you feel like you get trick? I said, totally 101%. Me ask him every day if a chicken trick me. So that thing can get things on here. Mm. I did not talk to him and I can't talk to him. He tried to find me because he wants to do me something. And he tried to hurt me when I got Jamaica, but he couldn't get to me. And if I see him now unstoppable, I would run into a store and call the police. Because I don't trust this man. And no matter who he go to, it will happen worse to them. Because this man joined the ritual. He walk with one, one silver cross in his pocket. And the night before he went away in Come in my room, me and me, 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 me box her cousin in the room, and she say, What is that? And me say, You know, see the ritual, the, the ritual cross where you have. And he hold up and I say, I see this, me I got Jamaica, nothing can do me. And I have receipt I can send to you that he sent to his partner in crime for him. I'm partner in crime, wife, collect the money, and then go and send Mary. Go and send Mary to kill me because nothing could not do me up here. I me hear him this Saturday. He said, no reach, I did the it. Uh, he says, he said, what time I left? And then he said, I left now. How you forgot the day I did and I left right away. And then he go to workplace and he confess and say, oh, um, when he come up, and he come back up, he have to see me in the house because when he go do me, when he care up for do me, he have to see me. But when he come and get, in get in feel, he have to try to kind of work. Kind of see me in the house and he can't get to me. So in 375 pounds, go down the drain. Well, <laughs> listen, Michaela. Yeah, Lord yeah. Jesus. Based on, based on what you shared tonight, you went through a whole lot. You know, and, and the viewers here, I'm looking in the comments and everybody has said, boy, you're, you're, you're strong. And not only that, they must say you're smart because everything what you say, you're... you're, you're yeah, you know, especially the the plant in the video, the the record and all of that. They must say you're smart with your moves. You understand? And I'm first of all, mm -hmm. I'm so glad you get away from the whole situation. You know, um, I'm glad you get out of it and doing better now, and you're keeping safe, right? Um, yes. You're not in close proximity to to where wherever he is, right? No, I'm close to my family. I'm surrounded by my family. And if I'm standing too long at a bus stop, I will get a private call. And um, I think I get a call from a government department said um, they, are, they are watching me and if everything is okay. So I'm totally safe. I'm nowhere safe, but the blood of Jesus cover me. Okay. And you said you shared tonight because you want young girls and uh, females to wise up. That's why you said the reason is why you're sharing yes. the situation. Yes. You want young girls yes. to wise up and, and look out for the flags. For, uh, yes, and anybody in domestic violence, the first hit removed from there, run because you're going to die. If you're not smart, you're going to die. Run. 
and speak out. Don't hide it because the first lick can let you die. Because mm -hmm. clad blood is a terrible thing. I want to thank you for sharing with us tonight. The whole of the viewers, them in there, say part two, part two, part two. They want to hear more. But we're going to wrap it up right here tonight. And I want to say thank you so much for sharing tonight and spreading your message about domestic violence and using your experience to spread that message and awareness as well it i'm sh quite sure there is somebody here tonight that can take something away from what you shared and use it to make some changes in their life and i do appreciate you sharing with us all right yes thank you so much and thank you all of you viewers for listening and please be wise Natasha, what do you mean part nice. two? Why do you think the lady have more she wants to share? But... No, I don't have any more. <laughs> Natasha, I have some credential. I have some credential which I can't expose. Don't worry yourself, man. We've heard, we've so. heard enough. Don't worry mm. yourself. I just greedy Natasha. Yes. Greedy about part two, please. <laughs> <laughs> Oh God. Mm -hmm. But thank you so much once oh. again and have a blessed night. I do appreciate you. All thank right? you so much. And I pray God to keep I pray to God that your your platform will um will put out a lot and bring in a lot and may you continue to do your good work. Thank you. Well obviously your prayers work, thank you know, because you say every time you go by your knee, yes. something good happens. So <laughs> go by your yes. knee if you answer for yes. me tonight. <laughs> <laughs> yes, you will, you you have victory as of tonight. The blood of Jesus cover you. And no matter the mouth them where I talk, just look back and look on Rose Green, her story. Mm -hmm. Look on Rose Green. I am one like Rose Green. And look on Queenie. Look on what's happening to Queenie. People have to rise up nowadays. And Unstoppable, your platform, I watched it last year. And I said, God, how can I reach out to this man? Mm -hmm. How can I? And I was in, I was crying. I was in darkness last year. I was crying. I was wondering, how am I going to reach out to this man? And nothing done before the time. One day, one day, God always say, one day, one day. He is slow, but it's sure. Mm -hmm. And this is the night it has come and it is done. Great. Thank you so much. I do appreciate you taking the time to sharing with us tonight. And like I said, you know, I say it all the time that people sharing right their experience is not always about them right it's 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 sometimes it's to spread the message to someone else who may be in the situation right that's going through mm -hmm. something similar mm -hmm. and need to hear the message coming from someone that went through yes. it, you know so i i i, yeah. I have yeah, to because... echo this every night mm -hmm. Yeah, because you have a lot of people here in Unstoppable. Mm -hmm. You will see them on Facebook from England and post up on something. They are going to worse, you know. Mm -hmm. But here, what? They can't talk. They have to live through it. They have to live through it. And many of them tell me, oh, yeah, this year, even one couple of my cousin tell me, you have to, I saw you going out. I say, what? Who are you talking to? Me? I say, I'll be a liar and police. I move around Jamaica and, and hold it for big people. So I know what to do and how to do it. Me say no, me not go live in not this batteration. Me, mm. me say me you want to go walk go Jamaica and not wheelchair you mad. I me start to speak out, and this is what helped me. Evidence, evidence. When was make the, sure you have evidence. When was the divorce finalized? August, the third of August, twenty twenty one. All right, Mina, you get your answer right. The third of August, twenty twenty one. All right, Carla. Once again, thank you so much. Thank you safe, so much. Yes. Safe, keep prayed up and be blessed. All right. Thank you so much. God bless you and God bless your viewers. Much love. Good night. Yes. Okay. Good night. Unstoppable family. Listen, tonight's program was one way. Had all of us keyed in. You know, Miss Miss Allison said unstoppable. Not even about to stop for the thirty minute mark tonight. Didn't just rule straight through. Yes. We never want to stop her because she was on a. She, Tell the truth. She was on a roll, right? She was on a real roll. Like, me see somebody saying at the comment section, say, boy, this is a call. You can't tell a story. I make you, you, you just stay locked. You're like, you know, one left. You know? I want me say, 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 I might go pee pee up myself because I don't want to get up for going to the bathroom. I want me see that comment there. <laughs> you know? But you go like you couldn't carry your phone in the bathroom with you. You know? But listen, it's not a laughing matter. It's a serious situation. 
I understand, as she said, domestic violence is no joke. It's a very, very serious situation. And we have to spread the awareness about it, right? We have to let young females understand, not even just young females. You have to make females and males as well understand that if you're in an abusive situation, there is absolutely no reason for you to stay in it. Run, leave it, leave it, pick up yourself and come out of it, right? No make, uh, no make nobody fool you and convince you say that is love. No make nobody try to trick you and tell you say that is love. No make nobody brainwash you and tell you say that is love. There is no love at all where people beat upon you. No love no exists where people beat up upon you and tell you say that is love. Mm -mm. So the caller tonight shared her experience for that reason, she wants to spread the awareness about domestic violence, the abuse. And it not it, it to do with just um, people beating up on you neither. Because you have verbal abuse, emotional abuse, you don't have to stay in a no form of abuse. As long as you are in a situation and you're unhappy, unsafe, run from it. There's no reason for you to stay in it. All right. Tonight is Friday night, you know, and <laughs> Kizzy says best storyteller in a long time. <laughs> yeah, she was she was great. She flew she flew tonight. Me not telling a lie. She flew tonight. You understand? She 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 kept everyone tuned in. You know, nobody no no no, no doors off for a second because she was she was just on a roll. You know, I love me love her vibe, me love her energy, me love the way how she does keep it flowing. Me never want to stop her. You know, normally we would have stopped for the thirty minute mark, but me never want to stop her at all. You know, me never even want to stop her for, for short out the people who send in a contribution to the show or uh, not like that. You know, but big up to everybody who did send in a contribution. You know, I do appreciate each and every one of you. And me officer thanks to the persons who shared out the program tonight as well. You are greatly appreciated. But listen if you are out there and you have an experience similar to what the caller shared tonight, even if you're going through it right now, you need to speak up, right? If you have an experience that happened years ago and you never talk about it or you feel like you need a platform to talk about it, this platform is here for you. Reach out 754-317-5747. That's the WhatsApp number. All you have to do is send a WhatsApp message and say, Unstoppable, I have a story I would like to share. And once you do that, I will personally reach out to you and schedule you to share your experience. All right? As my friend Ride Along says, everybody has a story to tell. All right? My story may not be the same as yours, but... Everybody has one. All right. 754-317-5747. All right, family. We're adding another program tonight. And Ununa see me again until Monday night with another one. But until then, just make sure say Una stay safe. If you have your badge beside your name, right now is the time for you to start marching out. But of course, you know me officer big up too. Oh. Big up to the show boss, right? Yeah, so Keisha, highly blessed right now. Keisha, move Marissa from the show boss. Marissa was there Friday night holding the show boss position. Was it? Yeah, it was Marissa, right? Yeah, man, it was Marissa holding the show boss position Wednesday night, right? And now the show boss is now Keisha, highly blessed. So no big up Keisha for me there, because Keisha hold the show boss position for a little while until somebody else send in a super chat and tear her off. <laughs> I move up Keisha from the uh, the show boss position. So let's big up Keisha right now. Everybody in the comment section, big up Keisha as the show boss right now on the Unstoppable Live uh, program. All right. Now I also want to say big up to the people them who share out this program here to every single person. We tell people about it, you know, because enough people call me and say, "Boy, Unstoppable, you know, say so me come on to your show because my auntie sent it to me and tell me say you need to start listening to Unstoppable. My uncle sent it to me and tell me say you need to start listening to Unstoppable. You know, say I want my coworker tell me, boy, you." Big up to the whole lot of people like Uno. We tell people about this platform. We tell people about this show. <laughs> Marisa, what you say? Keisha, move you up, eh? Oh, you mean, man? Big up to Keisha. Keisha, run the things right here, though. You know? So, big up to every single one of Uno. We help spread the platform to more people. All right? 
I know for one sit down and work at the time and talk about the topics, right? Uh, that are uh, the, the, the lunch break conversation for no for one work. So big up to each and every one of that supports this platform and spread it to more people. Right now, we're gonna wrap up. If you have your badge beside your name, start marching out right now, whether you're on Facebook or YouTube. Facebook march out with the flames, YouTube march out with the custom emoji. Something can give on the shout out and get out of here. Over there on Facebook, we got Shanna Lee marching out, already rocking our badge. All right. And then over here on YouTube, we got Navlet rolling out, rocking a golden VIP. We got Marissa rocking a number one fan badge. Then we got none other than Kissy Unstoppable rocking her loyalty star. Jen is is rocking a super vip as well we got miss pat in the building and pat is rocking a super vip over here we got cindy b rocking a golden vip as well all right and who else are at them badge let me see let me see let me see we got merville mackie rocking her badge as well over here on facebook jackie a roll out over here on facebook and rocking her badge much love to you jackie you are appreciated all right mama ja is rolling out and mama ja is rocking a loyalty star badge as well all right Shana Lee, what you mean? Or is it Shana Lee? Sh People, Shana Lee, you see it now? Me shame. Shana Lee said, answer me, why you can't? <coughs> oh, why you can't say my badge name? Oh, 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 oh. I thought you said, why me can't say your name? Because I think me, me think me that slaughter your name and butcher your name. <laughs> No, see the Facebook badge is only one badge or it's only on YouTube you have different badges. That's why the Facebook badge is everybody has the same badge um, right across the board channel. All right. So that's why that's why the Facebook badges don't have a name. It's the same badges right across the board. And on YouTube, it's different types of badges. All right. So when you hear people like Sherms, Araka, Araka, the loyalty star. Yeah, that a go on. All right. So Marissa, she gone over Facebook, gone show off there. What oh, man, probably you know, realize some day over here on Facebook, I rock my badge too. All right. Big up yourself, Marissa. <laughs> All right, then we got Marissa over here on YouTube as me say, I rock her number one fan badge. All right, Mina Unstoppable is marching out, rocking her extreme VIP badge as well. I mean, know say people like Oral Blake are rocking badge, cause Oral always I say, and some why my badge not show, but we all already know why Oral badge not show, cause Oral always has switch up devices. Add that go on. Trev Essence is in the building, and Trev is rocking a loyalty star badge as well. Much love to you, Trev, the TikTok star. If you don't know, follow Trev on TikTok, you better go over there, go follow Trev here. Trev go on with one heap of things. All right, yes, and it's the same name over there on TikTok. Trev Essence, unstoppable. So just go over there. I'm going to show her some support because a, a TikTok star, she might not lock down YouTube like Unstoppable, but over TikTok, why is she a boss? Trevor, if you give me some pointers over there. <laughs> <laughs> Natalia, Unstoppable, much love to you. Glad to see you here tonight. Family, I'm done with that one tonight. I'm going to see my Monday night. I'm out. Blessings and much love. Sharon, much love. Love you as well. All right? Blessings. I'll see you all Monday night. Stay safe and whatever you want to do over the weekend, make sure you say you want to do it wisely. All right? See the music. 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 up. Uh -huh.